Hello everyone, so today I want to show you some tips for PG events. Whether if you're going for PG or planning to go for PG, I hope this can help you. So first step is preparing for PG events. So there's three things that you need for PG, which is quantlets, spares, and moral plaque. So uh, I have 36 ministers, so I, so if, you, if I were to go for PG event, PG goes for three days, 36 times three is 108 quantlets. So I would have to prepare 108 quantlets in total before PG event. Mm, for stamina, stamina pack, I would prepare around uh, 80. I prepared around 90, so I had 9 left over. For spares, um, there's usually, it depends on how many invasions you have. So that's the first thing, to prepare the resource. The second thing is uh, do not PG before PG event. So as you can see uh, from this foe list, any, if any time uh, someone invade you or someone challenge you, they will appear on this foe list. So a lot of people would clear their foe list, so they would avenge on PG event. So this foe list resets every seven days. So try to not uh, try to not invade, do PG hit PG in seven days before the event, because this way uh, you will not appear on other people's foe list, and they will cannot avenge you. Uh, the third tip I would give is try to rank lower in PG rank. So this is PG rank. If you can rank lower in PG rank, then you will make more uh, weaker players. So, it, so then uh, it will be harder for people to hit you in invasion because uh, invasion is random and it follows by your rank. The invasions are followed by your rank. So uh, if I were to rank 18 right now, 10 to 20 people above and below me, I would meet in invasion. I would not meet people in the 70s rank. So that's how invasion random works. You'll meet people around your 10 to 20 above and below. So it's best if you can rank lower. Uh, the fourth tip I would like to give is your truth. This is where you place your weakest minister in truth so that when someone hits you, you will not lose points. Uh, I would put this, your ministers, your lowest, weakest ministers in truth bef uh, after PG event and just wait for the truth to count down the days. Uh, and then when it comes to PG event, recall them. Recall them one by one to hit and then placing them back in. Uh, of course, recalling would uh, cost money. If you just put them in like me yesterday, uh, it would cost 150 to recall. But if you were to put it over a period of time, Say that one day left, then it will only cost you 10 gold. So that's another tip. Um, and uh, this last tip I would give is that every time you challenge, hit someone, and you hit more than 20 or an inhaliate, then you will appear on the, this notice board. So then people can either decide to challenge you. So to avoid this, what I would do is I would hit. 30, I would hit closer to reset time because if you hit closer to reset time you will not be on board that whole day so people will not have the chance to challenge you find you and challenge you so me I would say 30 minutes before reset time would be good uh, but be careful on the last day of PG event normally fast challenge uh, they, the, the game do not allow fast challenge on the last hour of the last day uh, another thing is if you want to avoid people avenging you uh, you can make an ult and try to make it on board and then you just challenge it. So Heaver here is my uh, ult, so i just been challenging Heaver uh, or with all my ministers. And that's all. That's all my tips for you. Hope you have a good, good luck with PG. Thank you.